Hello again, it's Stevie from SD Gear with So Saves Me, and we're here to demonstrate a Singer 401A, the ins and outs, how to operate it, some of the basic features that it can do, and let's get right to it. Put your hair up, grab a cup of coffee, and let's get to sewing. So let's get our machine set up to sew some stuff. So I'm going to turn on my light, and you notice I have no foot on the machine. I'm going to put on the zigzag foot. like so and we're gonna put a needle in today I'm gonna be using a size 12 Just slide it up underneath there and loosen up my nut being a home machine it only goes in one direction and just for for tips and notices on a 401 you can actually install two needles I need a bobbin so I need to come over here first and disengage the clutch so this thing spins freely. Okay, I'm just going to be using thread off of a large cone stand. So I'm going to come over here and I found with these 401s you're best to go through the first tension assembly or the first thread guide. Then I'm going to put it through this little tension guide and I'm going to stick my thread into my bobbin. Lift up my do a Mickey and push my pedal. Now you can hold on to this until it snaps or you can snip it. I usually snip it. And I'm actually going to need two bobbins. And these are the bobbins that I'm going to include with the machine, and I'm going to leave the thread on it. Because I don't want to run off the cone and try to teach you how to thread this machine. Surprisingly, the original tire was still in good shape. Just like so. And don't forget to tighten the clutch back up when you're done. Put my bobbin on here and with these spool pins I have to put something underneath it otherwise the bobbin will get jammed. It's too thick at the bottom. And we're gonna go through this first tension guide. Make sure your foot is up. You can't have your foot down and we are gonna go through the tension assembly. Lift it all the way up so the thread snips in on the other side and I'll take a high quality picture of that come back through this guide through the take up down through that thread guide and through the bottom thread guide do that one more time at a different angle so you can see it a little better so I'm going to go in up over and through the take up and then you need to make sure you snap into that tension guide. And then after I get it to there, I usually let my foot down so I can't pull more thread in. Go through that tension or that uh, thread guide. We're going to go through this thread guide. There is one more thread guide there. And then we're going to go through the needle. Our machine is threaded on the top. I lift my foot up and pull it through the bottom. Now we're going to take our lower bobbin here and make sure it's wound in this direction. We're going to slide this open and drop it in. And you'll see that there is a spot for it to go through, the thread to go through, right there. We're going to pull it through, lay it over, and close our lid so our thread goes in there. And then we should be able to run our thread in there, pull on it, and it should pop up if, we're, if we did it correctly. Let's do some test stitching. Put my fabric underneath there. They look 
pretty good. So how about we just run through all the stitches? The stitch I'm going to do is a zigzag. Or, no, actually, I'm sorry, let me rephrase that. I'm going to just change my needle position on a straight stitch. So that's all the way to the right. Centered. And left. Really neat feature. Maybe not so far left. Maybe a little farther to the right. And everything. Now let's try our zigzag. According to our fancy little chart that's up here underneath the lid, and you'll notice I put the pin in the front so I can keep the lid open, to get a nice zigzag we need to set our dials to B and L. So I'm going to push the tan one down, and you can feel it lock into B. Then I'm going to pull the white one and lock it into L, and this would be our width of zigzag. And I'm going to go to the maximum width. Got a nice, long, wide zigzag there. And as we're going here, I'm going to tighten it up. So we got a nice, tight zigzag stitch there. Let's go through about four layers of this stuff. tight zigzag stitch. For you with adjusting the knobs and showing you the stitch and adjust the knobs. Instead, I think I'll just show you the different stitches that it's listed here and you can play with this and change and make in your own, own little stitches. So that's a standard zigzag. So we go to B, B and M, B and N, B O, for demonstration purposes to show you that it does lock in P Q R and then B and S which would be special would be for a cam and this machine does include the four stock cams that was supposed to come with it and you can simply just drop them in on the top but to put one in you need it off of special and then drop it into special and it'll ride up against the cam and we'll check the cams out here in a bit. And then beyond that, you've also got others like E. And it runs through all of these as well. And this changes the way the stitch works. F, G, H, I, and J. And then A, B, and C is centering it left and right on these stitches. So you can actually change which side they come off of. And if you read the book, it'll tell you more about it. But I tell you what, for the moment being, why don't we just go ahead and run through them one at a time and I'll show you what the stitch light it looks like as I go. B and M, that's your zigzag stitch. Let's go to B or B and L, I'm sorry. Let's, so let's go to B and M, which looks like a ball. Remember, you want your needle up when you change these stitches. And then O, B, 
Blind stitch, BP, grab a cam here and we're going to use number five and I'm going to drop it into the machine and then we're going to go be special. the bees take the cam back out then we'll go to E and we'll start down the list E O We got EP, EQ. Kind of a neat system. EL. Or, I'm sorry, we're going to go to F. That's the next batch. F. Q. R. Puts us in the G's. Let's do a G. L. N. to I, 
IL. So we're on IL. IP. Switch it over to J. L. P. And that's a quick run through of all the stitches that are listed on the little pattern guide here. And there's many, many more in the manual, but that's pretty much a run through of the entire dial. The next, <clears throat> next demonstration of this 401 is I'm going to see how many layers of stuff I can sew through. But I'm just going to straight stitch because I don't think you're going to be doing many decorative stitches on heavy duty jeans or leather or anything along those lines. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to remove my foot and take the zigzag foot off. And I've dug out the straight stitch foot. I'm going to go ahead and remove my bobbin. And then I'm going to take the throat plate position to the unlock. And you got to kind of work it out of there. There we are. And I'm going to put the AK3 plate on. And the reason why they call it an AK3 plate is because you actually set your stitch up for AK3. And that puts you at a straight stitch. I'm going to finagle my new plate in there, like so, and lock it down and wiggle it and make sure it goes in. Then I'm going to reinstall my bobbin. And pull my thread up. And just simply screw my straight stitch foot on. Now we're set up for straight stitch. The first things you'll notice when you have the straight stitch foot on is your feed dogs are actually wider than the foot and that's okay especially if you wanted to get a really close edge stitch I could take my guide and put it right up against the foot and just bypass this whole area of the feed dogs altogether. that's kinda of the point of a straight stitch is get really close to the edge if you choose to material we're going to use is that muslin that I was using and I have I was sewing through two layers so what I'm going to do is I'm going to fold it over to give me four five six seven eight so I got eight layers of cotton muslin I'm going to widen my stitch out it's about eight stitches per per inch that's what those numbers mean is stitches per inch As I get closer and closer to the seam here, that's actually a hem in the material, and I don't, there's a lot of layers there. Quite a few that you can see there, and the back side of it. That's a lot of layers. That's eight layers of muslin. some denim so there's a layer of denim no problem 
this would be a good machine if you wanted to do some cosplay, get a good quality machine. Something that'll last longer than six months, like these plastic ones. Two layers. Three layers. Four layers of Wranglin denim. Five layers. And six layers. Six layers of pretty heavy duty denim. And then, if you wanted to sew some light leathers, I got some leather here. Nothing ultra heavy, but it's fairly heavy. It'd be about the same stuff that leather pants are made out of or purses. And I'm still using just a standard size 12, standard sharp needle, nothing fancy. So there's a layer. Two layers. Three layers. And this is... I don't know if you'd want to be doing this with this machine every day. You could do it from time to time, but I don't know if you'd want to be running four layers of this heavy, thick leather. We'll get back down to two layers. Four layers is probably about its maximum, but two layers it could do comfortably all afternoon long. So it'll sew through some pretty heavy stuff. And again, like I said, I'm not using a specialized needle. When you're doing leather, you really ought to use a leather point needle. It'll help the machine sew it a heck of a lot easier. So that's some pretty heavy duty stuff. That concludes my demo video of the Singer 401A that I'm going to be selling. And you can pick this machine up on our Etsy store, or it might even be on eBay, but most likely the Etsy store on SD Gear. The machine is included. It's just been serviced. If you've been watching any of the other videos, this is the machine that I use to uh, make the servicing video. I'm going to give you the original book. It's seen better days. The front cover's ripped. It's missing the back cover. But it's not missing any pages otherwise. And clearly readable in color. I'm giving you the original box. It has been cracked and glued on the front here. And it comes with its original accessories. Four bobbins, vintage, all metal, guide, straight stitch foot, zigzag, gathering foot, special I'm going to give you a small package of needles to get you started, including a twin needle, which for this machine is really unnecessary since it'll twin needle without it. The zigzag plate. The four stock cams that come with it. The two screwdrivers, a small one and a large one. The small ones used to uh, adjust the bobbin tension if necessary. I'm going to give you a gathering foot. The zipper foot, adjustable. The rolled hem foot, eighth inch. And the binding foot. I'm also gonna give you the original pedal that it came with in good shape. I'm gonna give you a power cord to plug it into the wall. And you'll notice that the glass lens has been removed from the light, from the light fixture here. I've replaced the original 15 watt incandescent bulb that makes all of this run really, really hot with a 80 LED super bright, super crazy light bulb that never gets hot. 
and they don't work near as good, but I am going to send the original glass lens that goes with the machine. I hope you enjoyed this video and this little demonstration of this 401A, and thank you. Thank you for watching all of our videos at So Saves Me, and I am Stevie from SD Gear, and I just wanted to say, if you really like our videos, please click that button at the bottom that says subscribe, and if you need supplies or you're going to attempt to do all these things yourself using our tutorial, please go and click the link below and buy some TriFlow from Amazon. We get a little kickback for it, and it's a little motivation for us to keep making these wonderful videos. If you have any questions, comments, please leave them at the bottom. If you have a machine that you'd like us to service or maybe go through, let us know. Hit us up on our Facebook page, and we'll see if we can find one of those machines and get you a tutorial made off of that thing. Thank you.